Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling around the Lone Star State looking for great restaurants you won't want to miss. Get ready for a wild Waco brunch spot that puts all their cards on the table. If you're hungry, this is a spot to go to. You're looking for somewhere with sports memorabilia, this is a spot to come to. Plus, we check out a roast beef debris and fried shrimp po' boy in Houston. If I could pick my last meal, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this would be it. And we go inside a new ice house in San Antonio serving up barbecue, desserts, and a good time. They don't get much better than that. Ah. Come on. All that and more right now on Texas Eats. Our first stop on today's foodie adventure is in Fredericksburg, Texas. Now we're here on the edge of Fredericksburg, Texas to go inside of a cafe that's serving up authentic Mexican food and traditional brunch dishes. And whether you're coming in or you're leaving Fredericksburg, this is the spot to stop. Let's go inside Neary's International Cuisine. Joining me now is the owner out here at Neri's. This is Luis Lopez. Thank you so much for having us out here. Your wife has cooked up quite a spread for us. You got a burger, a crazy breakfast platter, and I love what's going on right in front of me. This is a little more traditional, kind of like Texas, a little bit more Mexican vibe to it, right? But chiliquias. You have a special name for this dish. When you get the two different sauces, what do you call it? It's called Christmas. <laughs> and look at that. Eggs cook perfectly. It creates like that little bit of a second sauce on top. That's the bite right there. Mm. Oh man. The chili quillas out here are special because they're using homemade corn tortilla chips. Absolutely delicious, super crunchy, and when you get them Christmas style with both sauces, it adds a lot more flavor and depth to the dish. Overall, you're gonna be very satisfied with this dish. If you love chili quillas, I definitely recommend trying this one. This is good. This is just, I'm, I'm happy, with, I'm, I'm already excited right now. I just tried the first dish. Now, Cochinita Bibil is a very authentic dish. Uh, but talk to me a little bit about the history of what it means to your family. We came from Mexico about 17 years ago. We worked in restaurants here in town until we opened our own place. And one of the dishes that we always had was the Cochinita Bibil. You know, in Mexico, they used to do it under, you know, they cooked it underground. And obviously here, we have to put it in the oven. Luis and his family grew up eating Cochinita Bibil in Mexico. His kids grew up eating it, and his wife still makes it today here at the restaurant. But you have your own preparation that's very similar to that same kind of Dutch oven in the ground kind of cooking process. Oh, yeah. Long overnight. So it gets super tender. Cochinita Bibil out here at Neri's. That's the bite. <laughs> Woo! Let's enjoy. <laughs> that is really good. And it's super delicious. Takes a lot of time to make. That pork sits overnight, just becoming super tender, pull apart, shreddable. And they wrap it inside of those corn tortillas. And then they're serving it up with the refried beans on the side, those fresh chips. I mean, this is for the hungry. If you love Cochinita Pibil, if you've never tried it before, I highly recommend coming out here and trying it. If this is your first time, you're gonna be blown away. You're gonna to wanna to order it everywhere you see it after you try it. Very good. You also have some playful, fun variations of brunch items like the Eggs Benedict, but it's not served on an English muffin. You got a little toasted croissant action on the bottom. Oh yeah, cooked perfectly. Look at the poach on that. That's a big bite. Eggs Benedict, traditionally made on an English muffin, you can get here at Neri's, made on a French croissant. This one's super buttery, it's melt in your mouth tender, and then you get it with the hollandaise on top as well, the poached egg. I mean, this thing is just a killer bite. Now, if you're feeling extra, extra hungry, we're gonna dump this one, either the elder or the countryman, we don't know yet. This is really just showing off what they got. You also have French toast out here. Big pancakes, that's a pancake. Nachos as well, and the burger. I mean, this guy, that is a tower of a burger. Fried egg on top, that one's, which one's that called? That's the Big, big Boss? boss. That's, yeah, it is. That's a Big Boss of a burger right there. You can't go wrong. All the food out here is just creamy, it's delicious. It has the perfect level of spices and seasonings that you want. If you're out here in Fredericksburg, even if you're around the area and you're looking for a good brunch spot, this is a place to check out. Family run. I got my son, my daughter, my wife working here. Uh, and we, we, we hit, take pride in what we do. We really like what we do. And you could tell, I mean, from the moment we walked in, we were greeted. The hospitality in here uh, is just over the top as well. 
and you guys really make uh, somebody feel welcome as soon as they come in here. Thank you. Thank and you. I mean, and above all else, the food is just top notch. You guys are killing it. Give me one more of the one. There we go. Thank you. Bam! Great food. I'm gonna keep eating this right here. <laughs> now, we're cruising to the Alamo City for a new ice house serving up barbecue and a good time. If you're looking for a great spot in San Antonio to bring the entire family this summer to sit outside, enjoy yourself, eat great barbecue, and listen to live music, look no further than the Windmill Ice House, a brand new spot that we're going to go check out. Joining me now is Tinsley. She's one of the managing partners out here at Windmill Ice House, and right in front of us, it's like pretty much everything you got on the menu yes. and more. I mean, this is an incredible spot. It's right here, basically, in a spot of San Antonio that's so unassuming. You wouldn't expect a property size like this to be out here where people can come and enjoy themselves outside, especially with barbecue. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like in the, the heart of a neighborhood. That's right. And our goal here, we got really lucky finding this one acre property out here so close to the loop. And we just want everybody to feel like they can come out and enjoy a backyard barbecue, feel like they're in the country without really having to leave the city. Right in front of me, this is a specialty menu item, <laughs> not always on the menu, but special. you'll be lucky. Yeah, when you come out here, you gotta ask, are the dino beef ribs out there on special? But check this out. <laughs> I mean, you guys are low and slow out here, right? So everything that comes off is a lot of love, but look at that. Yeah. And this thing is just rocking. So juicy, I mean, the tray right here, the, it's just covered <laughs> in all that goodness. Yeah. Seasoning on the outside, the bark looks incredible. And you can tell, look at that, just super tender. And that's how you know that this is ready to rock and roll. I gotta take a bite out of this. Absolutely, thing. I've been waiting. I'm going in for the real deal, y'all. Dino Beef Ribs out here at the Windmill Ice House. They don't get much better than that. Uh. <laughs> Come on! The rich flavors of that beef, I mean, when you get that bite, you're gonna mix it up a little pickle, the guy a little pickle and onion on there and you can't beat it. The bark is killer. I love the seasoning. Can you give me the secret on the seasoning or is that like a, you gotta take it to the grave? No, <laughs> no. I might get thrown in the pit. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be on special at one yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, little burnt ends. And there's something sweet going on them too. I love that flavor that's on there. And you can either have them by themselves, you can dunk it in something, yeah. maybe even the pinto beans, right? It's kind of a popular thing to do. Yeah, whatever you want. I mean, I like to put I like to put them in the mac and cheese. They're delicious in there. Mm. For the cream corn. Wow. Adam's on the pit. Who's in the kitchen cooking up all these delicious items? So that would be Gary, our kitchen manager, who is mm. fabulous. Greens, mac and cheese, I know, green the beans, green, like, yeah. We, we wanted to beans. add some just, you know, other than the typical just barbecue sides, the collard greens. Should we do it? And we should. <laughs> That's a shut your mouth bite right there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Check this out, y'all. You can already tell. Holds up on its own weight. You pull on it, falls apart. That's good brisket, okay? Nice little bark on there. Smoke ring as well. Trimmed nicely so you got some fat. And you have two sauces as well, which we is kind of like blasphemy in Texas. Yeah. I but, <laughs> <laughs> but if you got it, why not? We I do, mean, that's kind do. of where it's yeah. all transforming. See, I want to try. You went for the mustard. I did go for the mustard you went sauce. For the mustard. This is the brisket with their mustard sauce that they're making in house. In case you're a sauce person, here we go. Mm. Give them some love. Woo! Now, if you have enough time to try everything on the menu, I highly recommend trying just a little bit of everything. Right? You got turkey. You have the chicken, sausages, brisket. You also have the white bread tortilla option, which is, you know, dealer's choice. Pickles, onions, all the side items. The collard greens are outstanding. So are the green beans, the pinto beans, the cream corn. I mean, honestly, this is a really cool spot that just opened up here in San Antonio, and we're super lucky to have something like this. Oh, you have that little piece of ice cream over there just been kind of Melting. floating away as we've been talking, but what's, yes. what's that dessert item you got over so there? So we have, you can get a cookie or you can get beach cobbler uh, with a scoop of ice cream. You can also just get ice cream if you want, but if you get the cobbler, you automatically get the ice cream. You just get the cobbler. You get the ice. Yeah, so just get the cobbler. You get the ice cream, <laughs> Yeah. Too. Now, you got to get all the savory items when you come out here to the Windmill Ice House, but if you're going to get dessert, this is the one to get peach cobbler ice cream on top. You can see, man, a hot day, this poor ice cream, it only can stand so long, especially on top of a nice bed of hot peach cobbler. I want to get some of the crust, a little bit of the ice cream on there. Here we go. That's the bite. Now that's peach cobbler, man. 
this place is awesome. But you guys come out here, the Windmill Ice House, I mean, just right down the road, right off 410 in Nacogdoches. This is a spot to come to. So many options. I got to keep going in, though. You know, this Dino Beef Ribs where it's at. Follow on social media to know when they got it. All right, I got them for my yeah. more mac and cheese. Here we go. Yeah. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we check out a roast beef debris and fried shrimp po' boy in Houston. If I could pick my last meal, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this would be it. And next, get ready for a wild Waco brunch spot that puts all their cards on the table. If you're hungry, this is a spot to go to. If you're looking for somewhere with sports memorabilia, this is a spot to come to. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in Waco, Texas to go inside of a card store, a memorabilia shop, plus a restaurant. Or it's a restaurant and a card store and a memorabilia shop. Out of the way, they're serving up a lot of fun and great food. Let's go inside, butter my biscuit. Joining me now is Lee Bankston, the owner out here at Butter My Biscuit. And right in front of us, biscuits in all different forms, covered in gooey, cheesy, eggy goodness. I mean, there's gravy on stuff, sour cream, it's over the top. But first off, I mean, what an unassuming location for a brunch spot. It has cards, memorabilia, all kinds of collectibles. There's a predator on the wall, he's just looking at us. I know. How did this happen? It was really all by accident. I mean, my husband and I, He's had this business since he was a kid over here, and um, he just looked at this place to start a little game shop. And I'd been catering for people at church and different things. He's like, hey, I got a kitchen for you. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, sure. And then just people kept coming and started coming. We used to just be open on the weekends. Now we're open for brunch all the time. So we ended up with a restaurant with a little bit of a game store in it. If you're hungry, this is a spot to go to. If you're looking for somewhere with sports memorabilia, this is a spot to come to. Games, all kinds of stuff. I don't know if we're gonna leave. I really don't. Right in front of me, this thing is like steaming, gooey hot, biscuits, eggs, a little bit of salsa on there, pimento cheese, potatoes, gravy. What is this one called? This one's called the What Bren Had. It was named after my husband. <laughs> it was, again, another accident. We just are a um, conglomeration of happy accidents. <laughs> oh, jalapeno cheese biscuit, breakfast sausage, pimento cheese, salsa, potatoes, gravy. This is the bite, here we go. That is amazing. It, it's a filling. Mm. We are responsible for lots of carb comas. I absolutely love this. This is the ultimate definition of comfort food. Texas comfort food at that. I mean, the biscuits over the top, flaky on the outside, tender on the inside, packed with flavor. The pimento cheese is so good with the salsa on there. It adds a little bit of acidity, because you're gonna need it. You got a lot of cream on here. There's a lot going on. Look at this monster. What is going on here? All right, that's our cheesy grits bowl. So we took our biscuit, we baked it into a bowl shape, kind of like you get, you know, soup in a bread bowl. I, right. know, I thought, well, we can do that with a biscuit. So here we go. We filled it with, once again, cheesy grits. Then we've got our cheesy scrambled eggs, some bacon, pimento, all the yummy stuff right on there. I will grab a fork. You're going in with all me right, on this I'm one. Go I'm going in on this guy. I'm going to get some grits. Yeah, I want the a little, grits. A little bit of so the biscuit. Good. Look at that. Bacon. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, Those cheese grits are so good. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> the cheese grits are like the best smooth grit texture that you want. Because I bet you they're like 30% grits. That's 70% <laughs> cheese. <laughs> cheese and milk. Yeah. yeah oh, man. Stuff. Right in front of us, this one right here, it got a little bit of bacon action going on in that one as well. That's the boss boy right there. So that is, uh, it's on the menu as like the way my granny used to do it because when she used to make me biscuits and gravy, she would tear the biscuit up for me Ooh, yeah. and put the gravy on it so I didn't even have to just do anything but just grab a bite and eat it. So that was, here, get, you know, a, get a little bit of this action with me too. One. Let's get a little. So you got gravy and potatoes because everything's better with potatoes fried <laughs> and bacon fat. That's what makes go. it yummy. That's the bite right there. Mm. Oh, wow. This right here is called a bonut. It is fried shortcake biscuit dough. This one has strawberries in it. On the menu, they're gonna be rotating seasonally out with different fruits. 
I'm gonna get a bite of it, get some of this whipped cream, a little bit of fruit action on the side, and some of this fried goodness as well. I love that they're reinventing biscuits in so many different ways out here. That's a bite. <laughs> That's insane. So happy that people react so positively to your food. It's over the top. I love all the flavors here. There's even nachos that are on the menu. These things are massive, over the top. And then you have French toast made out of the biscuit, but it's like a bread pudding it is. in French toast form. It is. We just take all our, our leftover biscuits, which are hard to come by some days, and I'll just mix them with eggs and cream, just kind of like you do a normal bread pudding. And then I change the flavor depending on what sounds good or what's in season. And then, so today's was peach cobbler, you can tell. So it's got like a good fresh peach topping on top. All right, I know it's in front of you. I'm gonna That's steal okay. this one right I will, here. I will allow that. <laughs> you also have great drinks out here. Lattes, yep. beer, Bloody Marys, all the things, mimosas. But mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a bite out of this. You guys, butter my biscuit up here in Waco, Texas. If you wanna come get collectibles, memorabilia, sports things, I mean, this is a spot to come to, but come up here for the food. You're gonna be pleasantly surprised. Everything is over the top. This is comfort food all the way down to the desserts. I gotta take a bite out of this guy though. Yeah, you gotta try that guy. Thank you so much for having us yeah, out here. Yeah, thanks for coming. That's the bite. Oh. I do love that. That was <laughs> That's all yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we cruise to Blanco for a cafe offering outrageous brunch food and baked goods. Chess Club Cafe. Why that name? I Is know. there chess happening here? I have none. Absolutely <laughs> zero. And next, we check out a roast beef debris and fried shrimp po' boy in Houston. If I could pick my last meal, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this would be it. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. While I'm exploring restaurants around the Lone Star State, there's only one way to tell people how good the food really is. Shiner. Shiner, the official beer of Texas Eats. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in Houston, Texas to try some Cajun Texas fusion. Let's go inside BB's Tex Orleans Cooking. Joining me now is Brooks Bossler. He is the founder and CEO out here at the restaurant. And man, this is it. Thanks. This is the spread you want when you come out here. A little bit of Texas, a little bit of New Orleans. This is like the fusion that you've been craving and it's right here in Houston, Texas. Right in front of us though, this is what everybody wants. That's it. That's the crawfish boil. Yeah. Now, is this a recipe that you grew up with or how did you how did you get going into all this food? I grew up eating crawfish on Good Fridays in, in, in Central Texas. And, um, and then in Louisiana during the season, but my dad had a, an annual Good Friday crawfish bowl. We were the only people who were doing crawfish back in the day. Everybody so, was cooking up it up. That's it, man. So you got some of these recipes from your family. Have you evolved any of this into what it is today? Yeah, you know, this recipe here is from my chef and I, just kind of playing around in the lab, and we developed it uh, about 10 years ago. Our crawfish is a three-step process. We get a lot of seasoning from the boil water. Um, we have a dry spice we hit it with, then we have a really nice wet sauce we hit it with, and we just mix it all in really good together. We're really big on our add-ons. We have like 20 different add-ons. You got a little twist action on there. Now I'm a, you gotta go for the head. You got to. The seasoning that's on here, it's got a little kick to it, which is <laughs> nice. And you also like a spicy and a non-spicy version, right? We do, yeah, this is our spicy version. Oh. We call this our Textor Lean style, it's kind of what we say. Give me some elbow, man. Man, it's famous, Woo! baby. <laughs> BB's is known for their Cajun cuisine, and the seafood boil out here is top notch. There's all different kinds. There's even a regular or spicy version, but you get some with the green monster that's in there over the top. Brussels sprouts, edamame, and all the seasoning that's in there. It's just so good, all the way down to the middle of that little crawfish. These two in front of us are probably some of the largest po' boys I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, there's almost a pound of protein on this one, the surf and turf, it's off the chain. All right, surf and turf, I see the shrimp, what else is going on? We got shrimp, roast beef, and then our roast beef debris with and a lot of gravy mixed in. The surf and turf, here we go. 
Oh. Killer, huh? Give me some more. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, killer, bro. You bring the bread in from New Orleans. Mm. It's the best French bread in the world. Leidenheimer Baker is absolutely amazing. It's so light, crunchy, but tender on the inside. Yeah. But the shrimp, y'all are treating that shrimp <laughs> with like the most delicate hands. The Thank breading you, on the outside is nice and crispy, but on the inside, the shrimp is nice and tender. That debris is like money, though. The surf and turf out here on the menu on the pull boy sandwich is not your typical surf and turf. It's actually fried shrimp and a little bit of debris. Now that debris is just like shredded roasted beef, right? And it just falls apart, super tender. And the bread is actually shipped in from New Orleans. It is out of control. The French bread on there is super crispy on the outside, nice and tender on the inside. And then you don't even need a sauce. It has its own sauce in there. It's one of the best bites that I've had. Yeah, the yeah. Tex Cajun fries out here at BB's, baby. That's the bite right there. Oh, good, huh? Yeah. Bro, yeah. that's beyond good. Yeah, it's good. Woo! Yeah. That has to be one of the most popular dishes on the entire menu, man. Absolutely. It's, our, it's one of our most popular appetizers. We invented that dish to help all the late night party goers kind of soak it up. <laughs> Got to soak up the party, man. And that's, right. And they would come in and tear that up, and I can't tell you how many people say, dude, you text your fries, save me. I'm a new man this morning. You got to save room for dessert. You got a sweet tooth. You got a bread pudding that's unlike anything else. Talk to me about what's going on. That's my mama's recipe, another one of hers. And uh, she does it a little different, as you can see. It's a meringue topping uh, and a rum sauce. Meringue on top, meringue bread pudding on, top, on the bottom. And uh, yeah, it's been on the menu since day oh one. Oh my God. Cheers. Cheers, brother, absolutely. You guys, all the way from the boil to the po' boys. I mean, the Tex Cajun fries out of this world, delicious. I'm so glad that you were introduced to this at a young age and you brought it along with you, you have evolved it. It's here in Houston, Texas. BB's is a spot to come to, multiple locations. Yep. And I mean, it's just killer. This is such a great fun spot. And as you can see, everybody else knows it is too. So this is a spot to come to when you're here. Thank you so much for having us out here. Don't forget to grab some classic New Orleans inspired cocktails as well. Here you go, cheers, sir. Cheers, brother. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, man. this is great. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we travel to Hondo for our perfectly named pizza joint. I'm gonna go back to the angry. I'm not mad at it, I'll what? tell you that. Right. <laughs> and next, we cruise to Blanco for a cafe offering outrageous brunch food and baked goods. Don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back after the break. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in Blanco, Texas to go inside of a little diner that's serving up big portions of delicious comfort food. Let's go inside Chess Club Cafe. Joining me now is Emily Becker. She is the co-owner out here at the Chess Club Cafe. Lots of delicious food in front of us. I have to know though, Chess Club Cafe, why that name? Is there chess happening here? I have none. Absolutely zero. <laughs> um, we are the namesake of a group of guys that used to play here when the place was vacant. So uh, we yeah, we've held on to it, run them off, I mean, but uh, we've held on to the name. This one right in front of me grabbed my attention instantly when I saw it. This is a big plate of food. That is our cowboy breakfast. It is probably our most popular breakfast on our menu, and it is our hand-breaded chicken fried steak topped with our homemade cream gravy. It's served with a side of homemade toast some home fries, and two eggs any style. Today we have sunny side up eggs for you. Check that out. Chicken fried steak, egg, potato, all in one bite, made from scratch. Yeah. Love it, that's the bite. If you can eat this whole thing, you won't be eating for the rest of the day. Now if you're looking for something a little more approachable, right? <laughs> 
This is the one to get. Talk to me about this Benedict dish. This is our queen's choice. It is a toasted English muffin topped with slices of fresh green avocado, some smoked turkey, poached eggs, poached perfectly, and our <laughs> homemade hollandaise. We gotta check the poached egg, you ready? Yeah. All right, look at that. <gasps> oh man. Beautiful. That hollandaise and that egg yolk together, that's like the ultimate bite. Here we go. Primo. Primo. Did you say primo? That's primo. my word, primo. <laughs> mm. Once again, give me the knucks. Again. Great job, Steve. Steve is a classically trained chef who's been in the restaurant industry for decades. And when you see the food when it comes out to your table, you can tell that there's a lot of passion and a lot of knowledge. Yeah, I would have to say I've had a lot of Benedicts in my day. This is definitely um, top three. This has to be up there. Um, I love everything about this. This sandwich, I mean, this looks loaded. Okay, that is our Soprano sandwich. <laughs> and it has ham, smoked turkey, salami, lettuce, tomato, red onion, pesto mayo on our homemade bread, and oh, the Swiss cheese. I almost forgot the cheese. Okay, so Swiss oh, cheese. Oh, and Parmesan cheese. So Swiss cheese, Parmesan cheese. I mean, you're making the bread in house, you got yeah. the salami tomatoes. Now this one looks a little bit bigger than his friend over here, so I'm gonna <laughs> give this a bite. Look at that. That's a sandwich. Look at the bread on this thing. Here we go. Mm. Oh, no. That's a five napkin sandwich right there. Mm. The bread, though, what a great vehicle for all that flavor. The Parmesan cheese and the Swiss cheese together just add that slight bit of little cheese funk that you want in that bite. And Parmesan is just not something you find on sandwiches all the time. Right. But do us a favor, Texas. Let's put some more Parmesan <laughs> on the sandwiches. All right, we're moving on over. This is more like Sunday dinner at grandma's house. You got the meatloaf. And not only are we gonna top it with that like traditional like ketchup topping, but we're also gonna throw some homemade brown gravy right on top of it. Oh, so you're gonna man. get a double whammy there. I wanna get a little bit of everything all together. Look I, at that. Yeah. That's the bite. That's dinner. That's dinner right That's here. That's dinner. Yeah. Let's think. You like it? Okay, fantastic. It's the salty, it's the fatty, it's the sweet. It's yeah. like the perfect bite. It's And it's a, again, yeah. big portion, man. You're going to, you can make a sandwich out of this later. You eat half, save half for later. But if you love meatloaf, this is where you need to come to. This is probably one of the best meatloafs. Thank I've you, ever had. This I agree. Is top notch. Thank you. I agree, I hope so. I agree, it's fantastic. Yes. yes. <laughs> Chess Club Cafe, y'all. Thank you so much, Blanco, Texas. This is where it's at. You come out here, you can get your sweets, you can get your savory, you can get a little bit of everything all mixed together. This is awesome, Emily. Thank you yeah, so much. Thanks. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, Steve, wait! <laughs> and next, we travel to Hondo for a perfectly named pizza joint. I'm gonna go back, the angry. I'm not mad at it, I'll wait, tell you that. Right. This <laughs> So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're in Hondo, Texas to check out a pizza spot that's making some incredible za. Let's go inside Hondo Pizza Company. Joining me now is Justin Myers. He's the co-owner out here, and I'm super excited because you guys got all different kinds of pizzas and sandwiches and calzones on the menu, but what got you started in pizzas? Food has always been a passion of mine. I mean, clearly, the, uh, it's something that has been part of my life. I, there was nothing else that I could cook with the passion that I could cook pizza with. It was, I was drawn to it. You know, years later, we're still doing it. We're just rolling it out. This one's special because it's got a little kick to it, right? So talk to me about this pizza here. It does. We lovingly call this the Angry. So the Angry sauce is our Serrano-infused sauce. We call it the Angry because sometimes it's only a little angry. Sometimes it's very angry. It all and depends on the day, right? It depends on the day and depends on how angry I was when I made it. There you That's, go. Yeah. The angry, we'll give it a try. Mm -hmm. 
little bit, a little, little, little. That's really nice though. It works. Nice and spicy. I love the dough, good body to it. Thank you. It's an, it's an appropriate amount of spice. It's not over the top, and I like that. Yeah, it's not a tough guy challenge by any stretch, David. Wow. I had to go in for two bites. That was good. Great job, man. Mm. Yeah. The calzone. Sure. Sometimes people make fun of it. They're like, just get a pizza. Right. I like a good calzone, though. Right. You know? So we'll put whatever you want in it. Oh, but, it. but today, I made you my favorite. Uh, we got meatball, we've got uh, red onion, we got pepperoni. Uh, we got black olive, and we had a, a ricotta garlic sauce that we made. The secret too is we finish it off with Sicilian oregano. Don't be oh. fooled by other oreganos, dude. <laughs> right. I'm going in for the real thing. Look at that bite. That's a bite. Mm. Mm. Wow. The calzone is loaded out here. You can put whatever you want inside, and it's huge. So you have enough for lunch and for dinner. So this is the focaccia bread we make here. And that's also, we get the brisket made right down the street at the maze, the corn maze. That's so cool. Yeah, they make our brisket year round uh, over there, the Graf 7A. This is the brisket grilled cheese going in for the bite. That's a phenomenal bite. Thank you. Thank you. I love that. It's homemade focaccia bread. So you load that up, you put some jalapenos on there, you put some more flavor on it, you take a bite out of it, it's over the top. You're gonna need at least five napkins to finish this thing. The focaccia bread is outstanding. Oh, thank you. Do you ever just eat that by itself? All the time, all the time. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, 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 100%. I swore I would never have a chocolate pizza on my menu. <laughs> you have the Hershey's chocolate, You've got, you have to go with the Jiffy Puff mar marshmallows. Okay. No substitutions. Right. And then graham crackers, and you're good to go. All right, so grab a slice with me here. Yeah. Oh, God. It's getting stuck in my mouth. That's how you know it's real. That's good. You're doing a dance over there. You're like, hmm? You can't help it. <laughs> you can't help it. You get a glass of wine, you get a cold beer, you get some really great slices of pizza, a calzone, a sweet pizza, or a salad. This is great for the whole family. You even got a little spot in the back to play a little bit of cornhole, a little, little, little putt putt. A little putt putt? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Cold See? beer and a putt putt, never hurt. Thank you so much for having us out here, you guys. When you're visiting Hondo and you want a slice of pizza, look no further. I mean, it's in the name. You guys got to visit this spot. I'm going to go back to the angry. I'm not mad at it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> We're traveling all across the Lone Star State, finding great food and pairing it with ice cold Shiner beer. And that's why we're out here today at Broadway 5050 to go check out what they got on the menu and drink some tasty brew. Joining me now is Peter Gottsacker. He is the owner out here at Broadway 5050. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for coming. And right in front of us, we have a huge burger. This is a double O-Niner. You have a Cuban sandwich and some party items that you're gonna have to try when you come out here, plus Shiner beer to go along with all of it. But how did all of this get started? It's been here, it's the third oldest bar in San Antonio. Wow. It's been here since 1935. And uh, I actually took it over nine years ago after a fire. I was a patron here and I was really tired of it being closed and I showed up day after day going, hey man, when are we opening back up? <laughs> there you go as well. When you buy it from me. There you go. <laughs> so, and you just like came up with the cash, came yeah. over here, bought it, yeah. and just kind of now you got a bar. Yeah. Just, and a restaurant. And so first I want to talk about this burger right here. This thing is absolutely giant. This is a double O niner. Yes, sir. What goes on the inside? So we have the two black Angus patties. We have bacon, a fried egg. And just to really make it a little more spicy, we have ghost pepper cheese. It's a really, really awesome burger. And it's, it's my own creation, so it's, uh, you better like it. <laughs> <laughs> and which Shiner beer do you recommend with this? I'm going to say the strawberry probably is going to help cool off that ghost pepper. So I got mine. You get yours. Cheers, Cheers. to you. The single and a double O-Niner. Here we go. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Too slow, bro. Mm -hmm. 
the double O-Niner burger is over the top. You got the egg on there, the yolk coming down, creating that second sauce. You got a little bit of produce on there, right? The tomato, the lettuce on there to make it look pretty. Crispy bacon, jalapenos on there as well. And then you got that spicy cheese on there. That's what's gonna kick it up over the top. You take that bite, I mean, the buns are rocking. They're nice and toasted as well. It is a phenomenal burger bite and really nice. It's a great choice to get when you're over here at the bar and grabbing an ice cold china. Here. Cheers, because you got to wash it all down. Some of that heat's got to go down the right way. So here we go. All right. Got this. That's so smooth. Right, it's right in the Float, middle. Floating down a river with a <laughs> burger in your hand. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't be mad at that. I wouldn't be mad at it either. You also have a Cuban sandwich on the menu. It's got its own little twist to it. Talk to me about what's going on. We roast the pork in-house. Nice. We do it with um, orange juice, pineapple juice, Ooh. lime juice. Like we really marinate it. You know, it's not a classic Cuban by any means. But right. We try to get some of the flavors that you'd be used to in a Cuban. And fresh baked bread uh, from the bread box here in San Antonio. Slice of ham, some mustard, and some pickles. Essential items you Essential need to call items. it a Cuban. Yeah, you know, there you go. Down. Now this is the IPA. This is their new one from Shiner. This is the Tex-Hex IPA. Ooh. It's so good because the IBUs, we were just talking about this, it's not too bitter on the on the punch there. And yeah. usually if you're gonna do to like an IPA, it has a little bit of a punch to it. Yeah. They've really blended it nicely to have a good flavor profile, and it's gonna go really well with this sandwich. Smooth drinking. There you go, cheers. Cheers. And then wash it down, a little Tex Hex IPA. Shiner's doing it right. I know. It's actually a very good traditional flavor on there for a Cuban sandwich. That pork is roasted, marinated right here in house. You have the ham, the pickles on there, a little bit of cheese as well. It is a really solid bite. That bread locally sourced as well, nice and toasted. You drink that down with a nice ice cold shiner, especially that Tex-Hex IPA. It is a great bite. The Cuban sandwich is delicious. I love the pork in there. You guys have done a really nice job with that. The bread is toasted. The pickles seal the deal. And then you have the Tex-Hex IPA. You mix these two things together. It's like a match made in flavor heaven. You guys have done a really nice job. Now, Shiner being offered here at the bar, what does that mean to you guys? I mean, Shiner is a Texas brand. The support for local is just awesome. You know, they really bring um, a lot of variety. You know, Shiner has a bunch of different beers that come out throughout the year and we're proud to be able to serve them here and uh, customers are always looking for them. So it's a really fun um, company for us to be a partner with. They have a huge portfolio, so it's so many different kinds of beer that you can ask for, right, when you're vending out. I mean, the Strawberry Blonde, the Tex Hex, the new one, and then we're gonna be talking here about the Shiner Blonde, which is just like a staple you gotta have now. Yeah. It's just a delicious light beer, which would go really well with everything we see all on this platter. Yeah, the Chicken Diablos, which is bacon-wrapped Ooh. chicken jalapenos. Nice. And then uh, the Tachos, which we kind of coined ourselves, which is just tater tot nachos, but we cut all the, the fries in house, we bread everything to order. I'm gonna grab a chicken Diablo, you grab one with me here. Grab your Shiner Blonde, cheers to you. Thank you so much for having us out here, you guys. Broadway 5050, I mean it's a classic, iconic spot here in San Antonio that you have to come check out. Get the burgers, the O-Niner is fantastic, and then you can also get the Cuban sandwiches, all the party food that you can get while you're out here too. It's just top notch, they're doing such a great job out here. Thank you so much, man, I appreciate it. Absolute pleasure, man, thank you very much. That's how you say it with Shiner right there. Woo, and a whole jalapeno. <laughs> Texas Eats will be right back. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Texas Eats. And to get more information and a map on all the restaurants that you've seen on today's show, just go to our website, ksat.com slash Texas Eats. And don't forget to follow us on social media at Texas Eats TV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to join us every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning right here on KSAT 12, because this is how Texas Eats.